Good evening and welcome back to my channel you guys. Uh, today we are doing this Halloween Dia de los Muertos Sugar Skull. Um, yeah, so I wanted it to be Halloween colors and I last minute did my chest, neck and chest, so that's why it looks the way that it looks and doesn't really kind of go, but it does. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, anyway, I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this video. It took a long time, uh, hours even, lots of hours, but it's worth it. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you guys wanna see how I did this look, then stay tuned. All right, starting off with the Kat Von D primer base all over my face and neck. And I'm gonna mix together some white cream paint along with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I'm gonna set everything with the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. And now for the star of the show, the Mayron Paradise Palette with a bunch of tiny little detail brushes. I am going to start with my eyes. As you can see in a little bit, I actually don't like how big I make them, so I end up changing it. But uh, basically, I'm filling in all of my eye area with this black. And this is where it began. This is where the watery eye started. <laughs> Optional step here, but I took the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and used the color Abyss and went over the black on my eyes just to make it a lot darker. And now for the petals. At this point, I didn't know what I was going to be doing with the rest of my face. I just knew that I wanted uh, this type of petal around my eye. And going in with the orange from the Mayron palette, I'm going to be filling in all of those petals around my eyes. Taking an angled brush and some more of that abyss color, I am going to be mapping out the spider web. This was probably about the fifth attempt <laughs> of getting this spider web the way I wanted it. Once I had that laid down, ugh, my watery eye. Um, I ended up going over that with the Too Faced sketch marker and just darkening that line. My eye will not stop watering. <laughs> I don't know. It's either one, both, or none. It's just whatever it feels like doing for the day. So this eye decides it wants to do what it wants to do today. So I'm going to get back to working on the spider web. Just wanted to let y'all know. 
what I'm struggling with. All right, guys, I'm just gonna finish up working on this spider web and then I will be back. This eye is done for. Um, I will fix this at the end. Uh, I've got it, I've got it. It's now stopped a watering long enough for me to function, so yeah. So going in with NYX white eyeshadow in all of the open spaces of the spider web. Back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be taking Hunts and Creamsicle and taking a page from Pompberry's book and going over my lips with these colors and kind of creating the um, color underneath the mouth. Also adding some Abyss to the center. For my lips, we've got Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Witches. In the center of my lips, I'm going to be using the Studded Kiss in Halo. And then on top of all of that in the center, I will be using the Everlasting Glimmerville in Rocker. All right, so for the mouth, I wanted a creepy jack-o'-lantern look to my uh, sugar skull. So this took quite a while, and I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted it, but I really like how it turned out. Going back into that Jaclyn Hill palette with those same two colors, I'm going over the mouth area and just accentuating that color. Alright, going into this BH Cosmetics um, neutral palette and taking this gray right here on a um, angled brush and I'm basically going to be using that as my contour. And I decided to go in with Abyss and make my contour a lot darker. Now 
All right, taking some more of that foundation mixture that I created, um, just whitening the jawline area and uh, setting all that area, making it a lot whiter and um, brighter. All right, time for the rose. This is probably my third or fourth attempt at the rose. At first I was gonna do a pumpkin and then it just, two attempts at that and it just didn't work out for me. So um, yeah, I started out like this and um, it obviously you saw it ended much differently. So uh, I liked how it turned out. Right back into that Jaclyn Hill palette to make the rose a little bit darker and then I'm taking a pencil brush and going over all of the petals so that all of the orange matches. Alright, so I went and put my dress on and I realized that I have way too much chest <laughs> showing. So, I needed to black it out. Unfortunately, I am running out of black. So...
All right, I'm not doing anything with this hair of mine because we are done. This is the final look. Well, actually, this is the final look. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. This took forever, at literally all day. I'm not mad at it, but I've been filming all day. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe while you're down there. And also hit that notification bell so you get more of me and Vlogoween. We only have a few more days left, you guys. Hope that your October is going well and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.